All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make good artworks for your singles and for your releases. Now, it's going to sound a little bit weird, but the software I'm going to be using for this video is CapCut. CapCut is absolutely free, so you can download it in your computer or on your phone to make this thing possible. And I'm your boy, Hisan Producer. Make sure you click on the subscribe because there's so much that is going to be coming on this channel. You're welcome to my family on YouTube. Let's get straight into the video without wasting more time. Now, the first thing you're going to be needing to make this happen is your picture or maybe any type of image you download from the internet using um, Pinterest or any free image platforms that offer little or more services that are premium. Whichever way you get the picture does not really matter but just make sure it is not copyrighted and it is free to use. So right now we are going to be looking for images um, online. So I'll be using Pinterest. Let's go to Pinterest. Okay. Once we're in Pinterest, depending on what we want to make, we can just look for images that suit the topic of our song. And here I'm seeing some images that look really amazing. Pinterest is really easy to use. It's just random images on the web that like you can use to do different stuff. You can use it to get your ideas and every, 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 every. So let's say the name of our song is... Um, I don't know what to name the song, but let's just be thinking. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so let's say the name of our song is Attack. All right, Attack. And this is the artist. This is what you are going to do. The first thing you do is you download the image. Okay, I think it's downloading. Let me try it again. You download, okay, yeah, the picture is in and it's called for the culture. You download the image and then you just go scroll, look for more concepts or ideas that you can take. Maybe let's go, okay, sorry. Let's go down, let's scroll down and see if we can get an alternative image. Alright, this looks like a street art. Let's find more street art designs. Let's see, um, something really cool and amazing that we can put behind our artwork to just make it look crisp. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, this looks great, but I don't like the size, so let's find something else. We can scroll for some time, just look for some amazing artwork that suits the narrative of what we are trying to achieve. Okay, I think I like this one, but let's click it and see if there are more suggestions. All right, I like this, I like this. So I can download this image and then we open up our CapCut, which is also a free app. All right, here in CapCut, all we can do is import our image the ones we just downloaded. So the name of the first image is for the culture, which is this one. And then we find the second one. The second one is probably going to be, let me see, childish logo. Now here it is. So for the as aspect ratio, um, we can just drag this here. And for the aspect ratio, since we are making a cover art, we can just come use this, or oh, wait, let's see. Um, for the aspect ratio, we can choose the one that just best fits what we are trying to achieve. Let's use this, which is three ratio four. And as you can see, the image is looking crisp and clean. Just imagine it is your picture here. And then what we can do here is, we can duplicate this one by holding option if you're using a MacBook. But if you're not using a, a MacBook, you can use the control key and then shift this upwards. But if you can't do that, what you can do is just press control C, move forward and press control V then you have a duplicate, you can just come put it here. So you go here to the text side, draw your text, drop it underneath the two layers. And at the top one, you can just come here and click on cutouts and press auto cutouts. What this does is it automatically just removes this top image. So let's take this one off. Look, it just gives you this guy right here and your text. So we can increase the text, take it upwards here and look, it's right behind it but there's an error here so i might have to just delete this one and then come back here take this downward so we can have a little bit headroom at the top then we can duplicate this again and we can click on auto remove so it's now out of the frame we can come here move this downwards and write the name of our track if the name of the song is attack we can share right attack and increase it like this then we can come to system now this is the good thing about 
CapCut. CapCut has so many fonts that are free to use. For so long, I've been looking for like an application that, that can give me so many options of things I can use without really paying. So this is a font here called Anson. I really like Anson and it's looking good for what I'm trying to achieve. So since there is a red here, obviously this is a freestyle. I can just come here. There's a color section where I can just choose red. Look, I can choose the color red. This is looking almost exactly the same. Oh, sorry, my bad. It's looking almost the same with this one. So you see our artwork is coming to life little by little. So to make this spice stop, we can come here, go to Google and search for parental advisory logo PNG. And this is it. This is just to make it look good. And if the song has some explicit words, we can put this as a disclaimer so our song do doesn't get flagged. Oh, parental advisory geek, geek content, but no. I don't like that. Let me see explicit content. Let me see. Let me see. I'm looking for a cool one, but the geek content one looks amazing. So I might just end up using that one. Um, let me see parental advisory geek content. All right, let's save this one. Let's save it as okay. Yeah, parental advisory. We can come back to our cap cuts and then go back to media imports and add the parental advisory logo here. We can drag it and drop here then you can frame reduce the frame size take it down all right as you can see it's downwards here and the artwork is coming to life little by little so there are so many things you can do for example since we we have this one at the top which is the cutout of the one under that covers the top part we can come down here, find filters. There are so many filters you can use. It's not just for color grading. Over time, I figured you can use them for so many things like add it behind the background. Look, look at what it did. It changed the background, made it darker. So this guy's looking all, all up in our face. It's looking more clearer and the artwork is looking great. So now our artwork is looking crisp and amazing, but we might just still play around with some effects. So we go to the effects section and we can create a layer that just solidifies everything so um for this one now we might get this black noise which is like a grainy effect look we just add it at the top you probably will not see the effect but look it just added grains to the artwork to give it like this kendrick lamar artwork feel if you remember this damn album this is basically what it looks like so with this grainy effect you see the picture is looking a little bit um cinematic in a way and the background is looking blurry and dark so we downloaded some other resource from here which i don't know if we'll be using but let's just try to cut it out oh oops it did not cut out so i might just take it out i just got that one in case we just need to like play around with colors and do some cool stuff but in a nutshell since you've removed that one at the top you can still put it in the back you can play around with it you can just do so many stuff which I wouldn't advise you do for this type of artwork. Now the artwork is looking crisp and clean, but the font is not still popping the way I want it. So I can choose what to use here. I can choose any of these colors like this. Look, there's so much you can use, but for this one, I'll leave it the way it is. And then I, I see the color have, have been erased. Let's take it back by pressing Command Z. Then we can go down here and increase the strokes. If I click on the strokes here, I can choose the color I want. If I want more red and I want it to pop, I can touch this part. If I want to put white, I can still do that. But I don't want to do it for this one, so I'll skip. Then there's glow. Uh -huh. Now look at it's looking different. You can choose some color like blue, green, depends on the feel. But for this artwork in particular that I'm making, I don't feel like there's need for any strokes at all. I'm just showing you guys so you know what it looks like. Then you can click on shadows to make it look 3D-ish. This I'm going to leave because it made the attack stand out. So we can add this one. The black shadow is good, but we can reduce the blurriness a little, then play around with the opacity and then increase the distance. Nope, I want it to be close by. So the distance is just fine on seven. And you can play around with the curves if you want it to look like this. Anyhow, you just feel like you want to play around with it. CapCut is giving you that option for free. Instead of using Photoshop or using any of these mobile apps, you can easily just make this one. I found, I found this 
when I was just bored and I was just scrolling around the internet to look for something I can do, I did not see any video like this, so I had to make it myself. Now we have our artwork all complete and looking great and looking amazing. What we are going to do next is going to be shocking to you. We click on this little um, section here at the top, at the top right corner. I don't know if you are watching the video which size it's going to be, but this is the section we are going to click. You click on export still frame and it's going to pop out this little export still frame section where you can just name it, let's say attack at work. Um, and then we can choose which resolution we want it to be. I normally leave it at 4K and sometimes I leave it at JPEG or PNG, depends on what I'm working on and I can click on export. Voila, that's it. If you come to your, I saved it in the download section of my stuff so you can see here we have an artwork for attack. It's as easy as that guys, it's not really tough. I made this one just to give you guys a big hack on how you can do this. If you really enjoyed this video and you learned something new today, make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop in the comments if there's anything you want to learn and I will look towards making the video and sharing it with you guys. I remain your boy Hisan Producer. You're welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos. Let's go.